What's up, everybody? Paul Hickey here. This is the Sports Card Strategy Show feed, your weekly hockey card market update. These are quick updates on each sport that we do daily. So every week you get some hockey in the mix on the nooffseason.com sports card network. Nooffseason.com is the number one place to get all the information you need to make money flipping sports cards. Get a free 30-day trial today at nooffseason.com. These episodes are also brought to you by CGC Cards, the perfect place to slab your favorite sports cards. More on CGC Cards later in the episode. Also, a quick promo for our repack. Only 20 left. Only 20 left. They're flying off the virtual shelves at nooffseason.com. Go to nooffseason.com slash repack to get in. It's called High Ceiling, High Floor. Need I say more? Check it out. All right, let's get into the hockey card market data here. We had a new release since we did our last hockey card market update, Upper Deck Extended Series. So there's some young guns sales. Logan Cooley, his 2023 Upper Deck Extended Series 701 Young Guns Base Raw is the most sold hockey card in the market in the last seven days. 41 sales of that card. Average sale price, $27.59. Adam Fantili, his 2023 Upper Deck Extended Series 711 Young Guns Base Raw sold 35 times average sale price of $35.04. Then you've got the number one overall pick in 2023, Connor Bedard. His his Upper Deck Young Guns Base Raw sold 29 times. That was the card that was dominating the hockey card market from a sales volume perspective. Sold 29 times in the last seven days. Average sale price, $329. Still pretty high on that one. Let's continue on with the top raw card sales. Simon Nemec, his 2023 Upper Deck Extended Series 727 Young Guns Base sold 22 times in the last seven days. Average sale price, $10.43. I'm going to butcher this name. Ivan Miroshenko, his 2023 Upper Deck Young Guns Base 717 sold 20 times. Average sale price, $5.72. And Matt Savoy, his 2023 Upper Deck Extended Series, 729 Young Guns Base, sold 20 times. Average sale price, $14.53. People chasing those Young Guns. All right, we might run them through our formula at nooffseason.com and see if there's upside in a PSA 10 from a raw to grade standpoint. Speaking of PSA 10, Connor Bedard's 2023 Upper Deck Young Guns Base PSA 10 sold 24 times in the last seven days. That is the most sold graded hockey card in the last seven days. Average sale price, $845. The PSA 9 of that card sold 16 times. Average sale price, $354. Making it a card the formula actually really, really likes at nooffseason.com from a raw to grade standpoint. Check it out. All right, now the top Hockey card sales in the market in the last seven days. Connor McDavid, his 2015 Upper Deck of the Cup, Honorable Numbers Rookie Autograph Relics, serial numbered out of 97 in BGS 95, sold on August 1st for $6,120. And the great one, Wayne Gretzky, his 1979 Tops number 18 base in Beckett Vintage Grading 85, that's BVG 85, sold on August 7th. That was yesterday for $6,000. The great one, the 1979 OPG number 18 base. Same photo, different card, OPG not tops in PSA 7. Sold on August 2nd for $4,500. And back to the tops base, PSA 8. Sold on August 5th for $4,350. Sidney Crosby, his 2005 Upper Deck Young Guns base in SGC 10 Pristine. You don't see a lot of SGC 10 Pristine sales in general. Sold on August 4th for $3,500. And Alexander Ovechkin, his 2005 Upper Deck Young Guns Base. What a what a class. Crosby and Ovechkin in the same class. 2005 Upper Deck Young Guns Base for Ovechkin. PSA 10 sold on August 5th for $3,250. All right, now the top, uh, the top cards with five or more sales in the last seven days from a last sale price perspective. Gretzky, the 1979 Tops 18 base PSA 6, sold six times in the last seven days. Last sale yesterday for $1,190. Uh, 
Connor Bedard's 2023 Upper Deck Young Guns Outburst Silver Variation Raw sold five times in the last seven days. Last sale a couple of days ago, $997. The Back to the Young Guns base for Bedard, PSA 10, sold 24 times in the last seven days. Last sale yesterday, $816. Cal McCarr, his 2019 Upper Deck Young Guns base PSA 10, sold nine times in the last seven days. Last sale a couple of days ago, $475. All right, now, cards in the hockey card market with 10 or more sales, 2012 through the present, graded only. In the last seven days, there's only three of them. Connor Bedard's 2023 Upper Deck OPG Glossy PSA 10 sold 11 times. That's up 32% or 13 bucks. His Young Guns Base PSA 10 sold 16 times. That is up 11.8% or up $42. And his Young Guns Base PSA 10 sold 24 times. That is down 11% or down $100. Interesting, already graded candidate to run through the formula there. Stay tuned at nooffseason.com to see if we do it. All right, now, remember, I talked about CGC cards. We want you grading more sports cards with CGC cards, the perfect place to slab your favorite sports cards. From their crystal clear holders to their affordable pricing, CGC cards is the perfect stop for your grading needs. Go to cgccards.com to start grading today. And if you want to be even more helpful for the sports card strategy show, go to any page on nooffseason.com, click on the CGC cards banner and create your CGC cards grading account. That would really help everyone out. All right, speaking of CGC cards, there's a few interesting hockey card sales recently in CGC slabs, one of them being on August 4th on 15 bids for $26.55. A really cool 1980-1981 topped Wayne Gretzky, second team all-star, sold in a CGC 7, but in the old green label with a CSG label. So what I would recommend there is sending that into CGC, paying the small fee to get that relabeled because the new label looks way better than the old green one. Speaking of the new label, we got a sale of Cole Caulfield's Rookie Retro Blue Rainbow out of 199 OPG Platinum in CGC 9 on August 2nd on four bids for $13.50. And here's a massive sale in a CGC slab. On July 24th, the 1979-1980 top Wayne Gretzky CGC 6 sold on 40 bids for $890. That's probably the biggest CGC sports card sale that we've seen in a long time. So we love to see CGC making inroads in the hobby with sports card investors. Thank you for joining us on the weekly hockey card market update. Don't forget to like this at youtube.com slash Paul Hickey. Comment, share, leave us a five-star review on your favorite podcast app and stay tuned for our Monday and Wednesday sports card strategy show full episodes and Friday's premium podcast at nooffseason.com. Don't forget to get a free 30-day trial at nooffseason.com today to take sports card school, get our formula-based sports card rankings, and get unlimited questions answered from myself and our experts at nooffseason.com on the premium pod. Everybody, thanks to our sponsor, CGC Cards. Have a great day.